Okay, I have another cool effect to share with you that uses brand new ideas, which I have never shared on my channel until now. Okay, so as you can see, I have the four tens mixed in with the four queens, the four jacks mixed in with the four kings. Okay, so we'll go ahead and kind of mix those individually here. Gather those up. Okay, I mean, they're already mixed, but you might not believe me, I guess. Okay, and I'm using some uh, cards I bought here in Hawaii at the Aloha Market for $1.99. Quite the deal, actually. <laughs> Very surprised. Okay, so what I need you to do now is I uh, choose either one to turn face down. And this is a free choice, so maybe you want this one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a rosette shuffle. Kind of just bring those together like that, and they always kind of bump up against each other. Okay. So let me just show you the cards here. See if you're happy. What do you think? Not mix well enough? Okay. Well, what the heck. Let's go ahead and give it a good old table wash. <laughs> Now, one reason for doing this, by the way, is because the particular cards that I happen to purchase are one-way cards on the back, right? The, there's a up and down orientation, which we won't be using in any, any way. So this is uh, making sure that we don't use that. <laughs> it's gone now. Okay, let me gather these up, okay? And then to begin to mix these further, we're gonna do this down, flip, down, flip, repeated. So down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, flip, down, flip. Whoa, what a mess. Okay, now from here, I want you to sound in. I'm going to uh, present pairs to you. Would you like me to leave the pair as is or flip it before I set it down? Flip, okay. Flip, okay. Leave, flip. Flip, okay. Leave, leave, flip. Okay, so that was two at a time. I'm gonna quickly do four. Flip, okay. Down, as is. Flip, flip. Okay, very good. Now we could do additional mixing. In fact, let me just point out to the astute and more educated viewer, what I have been performing here is something called a Hummer shuffle okay in fact uh, just to let you know you can actually put out any uh, even number of cards that you like two four six eight and then have the spectator decide kind of how to stack and randomly flip these okay this is still part of a hummer shuffle if you like okay so you can do any of that as long as you would like or as long as the spectator would like okay now, what we're going to do is we're going to do something that, to my knowledge, has never been done before. We're going to mix this Hummer Shuffle Packet in a way that I don't believe anyone has thought to mix it. And this would be for the simple reason that I don't believe anyone has observed that a Hummer Shuffle Packet is not only an AMP relative to the Hummer relation, it's a mirrored structure relative to the Hummer relation. Okay, so what does that mean? That means you can view this as a mirrored packet. So any of the mixing that I've done for a packet, let's say 16 cards, that's mirrored, you can do here. So for example, a two divides evenly into, um, keep those from sliding all over the place, 16 packet size. So you can perform as many left-right shuffles as the spectator would like. Um, of course, four also divides evenly into 16. So you can perform as many dealing outs into four piles with random stacking from left to right, right to left, or leapfrog stacking. Believe it or not, you can do that as well. Why don't we just do one of those if you haven't seen it before, okay? So this is all additional mix, whoops, mixing that you could do. So we'll do leapfrog from right to left. That leaps over its neighbor. This one leaps over its neighbor. Random stack here, left on right, okay? What are some other things that we can do with a mirrored packet? Uh, we can do even or odd up jogs. 
Here I'm jogging forward the even position cards. Now you don't have to do any of these, by the way. I'm just showing you additional shuffles that you can do without destroying things, okay? You can do feral shuffles. You can do two identical overcoatings. There's a whole list of things that you can do when you know the packet is, quote, mirrored relative to some special relation, okay? Well, when we have a mirrored packet, something special happens when we Klondike pairs to the table. It brings together the very pairs that satisfy the, quote, relation that we set up, okay? Now, you don't know what relation we have set up here, and that's why I have a secret prediction off to the side. Let me just move these up. I'm always drifting down for some reason here. Okay, so what have we accomplished despite all of these random choices being made by you, the spectator? Okay, so what does the prediction say? Only even and odd value cards enjoy walking hand in hand. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, well, well, wait a second. I think I see what it means. These two are walking down the street in the same direction, and one's odd and the other one's even. Okay, these are good friends. Uh, what other cards are headed in the same direction as each other? Like these two. Okay, so there better be an even and an odd in here. And there is <laughs> indeed... <laughs> These are walking in the same direction. Is there an even, an odd value card? There is indeed. What about these two? They're walking hand to hand. Is there an even, an odd? There is indeed. What about these others that are not walking hand in hand? Okay. They seem to be uh, budding heads or something here, face to face. Well, what should be the case is this should not be even. Because if it's an even value, it should be walking hand in hand with the jack. It's not even because a king is a 13 and a jack is an 11. Those are both odd. Here's an even value card. This one better be an even. And it is indeed. It's a 10. Here we have a 10, even value. This better be even valued. And it is. Ooh, very nice. And then this is odd valued. So it better be that this is odd as well, and it is. Check that out. The only pairs that were walking hand in hand in the same direction consisted of an even value card and an odd value card. All of the other pairs had either both even or both odd, and they were certainly not headed in the same direction. Okay, so that is the effect. And in fact, within the... Um, performance, I actually gave away a lot of the whys and hows of the whole thing. So if you start in the way that I did, start with the four tens paired with the four queens. So why did I do that? It's because a 10 is an even valued number and queen, which is associated with 12, is also even valued. So I had like the even valued cards facing, let's say, up. And then I had the jacks and kings, which are considered to be 11 and 13, so both odd valued, facing the other way. And then we did a rosette shuffle. And then we said, well, are we content with the mixing there? Well, not really. What the heck? Let's do a full table wash. Now there, don't flip over cards or your toast for this performance. So just table that wash that as much as the spectator would like. Okay, and that really will convince the spectator, boy, if the performer hoped to retain any information or keep track of anything, it's like gone, totally gone. Okay, and then once we table washed it sufficiently, we did the classic down flip, down flip, down flip. And in fact, very importantly, I'm going to add a link in the description below to the Hummer principle and its connection with more recent ideas that I've discovered on my channel, okay? Now, the idea I used here is truly brand new. I discovered it while sitting out in the Hawaiian sun. 
I realized, wait a second, Hummer shuffle packets are mirrored relative to the Hummer relation. That means we can do so much more mixing than really anyone has ever done before that I have ever observed. And so you can deal out into two piles, random stacking, four piles, random stacking from left to right, right to left, or leapfrog. You can deal out into eight piles with random stacking, left to right, right to left, or even leapfrog. You can do even up jogs, odd up jogs. You can do feral shuffles to your heart's content. Either feral in or feral out would be fine. And many, many other shuffles. And then since that packet that we were working with at the end is, quote, mirrored relative to these pairings that we want and their orientation relative to each other, you can just Klondike shuffle pairs to the table and they will have the very characteristic that you want. Namely, the only cards headed in the same direction, walking hand in hand, will be one even and one odd value. Any of the other pairs that are not headed in the same direction as each other will either both be even or both be odd. So you can come up with a completely different narrative if you like. Because as you might imagine, since I discovered the underlying principle yesterday, I've only had <laughs> less than 24 hours to come up with a narrative. I'm sure most of you can come up with a stronger way to frame this now that you understand the remarkable principles that are driving this and how you can utilize them to accomplish something analogous to what we've done here. So I appreciate you watching and I encourage you to take a look at that series that talks about the Hummer principle. To my knowledge, it's the most comprehensive series anywhere that talks about the Hummer principle, why it works, variations on it, and then how you can marry it with many other principles that are unique to my channel. So once again, thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.